I've been spending the last week playing Fortnite, and I've really enjoyed it. There's actually so much to do and so much that's new to me because I haven't played since 2017. So over the past week, I've been playing Fortnite and learning how to play the game, and it's been really enjoyable. And if you are new to Fortnite, here are some tips that I've learned. We're going to go into a live game, and I'm going to explain what I'm doing and what my thought process is as I'm playing. Hopefully, this will help out any new players who are just now getting into the game as the new season drop. Or if you're a player like me that used to play back in the day you weren't very good at the game then and you aren't good at the game now just getting back into it because you want to check out all the new updates i am by no means a professional so if you're actually good at video games feel free to click off the video go somewhere else hey maybe check out some other video of mine down here maybe so the first thing we're going to actually do is set our setting for whatever reason for me especially i don't know if you guys get this my settings just kind of reset themselves and it can be a little obnoxious to say the least i'm actually colorblind i actually have deuteranopia so let's set this setting as well as far as view distance and shadows goes set those just next to highest if you can if your computer can actually do this everything else have them just low low or off this will increase your performance and help you hit frame targets. Speaking of frame targets, you should probably V-Sync to whatever your monitor is at or whatever you can consistently hit. Mine's a 240 hertz monitor, but I can only hit about 144 frames. You want to have a consistent frame rate and you want to minimize the amount of frame drops so that you don't miss any shots. Now that you've configured your settings, click apply and go ahead and start your game. Yes, I'd love to keep these video settings. Now with the battle pass, you want to get as much experience as possible. And one of the best ways to do that is to mine these trees when you're in the lobby. You'll get 10 XP for it. It's literally free to do. You're not going to be doing anything else. Otherwise, it's just easy. Another pro tip really quickly before the map starts, you can actually see where the battle bus is going to go so that you can actually plan out your route. Let's go to Shifty Shafts or I could check out this place I haven't discovered. Let's check out this new place. Let's see what's over here. So when you're dropping, you want to just look straight down if you can. You want to be able to go down as fast as possible so that you can get to the loot quicker. What I'm doing here is I'm looking straight down and holding up and left so that I can actually go down just a little bit faster. Might be some people nearby falling around me. I hear you. I'm not going to worry about you right now. Or maybe I should. Oh, there's somebody down here. Let's just get him, and he's done. Definitely want to pick your fights early on if you can, because that will minimize. You just kind of going for fights early will actually be your chances of dying. Other people will pick up weapons, and just in case your weapons get stolen from you, you can actually pick up those weapons really quickly, and you can just use those instead. One thing that you just saw me do right there, it's actually really important that you know how many hits it takes to get a certain amount of mats. You need 10 mats per segment of a building block. So if you actually know that it's something will take three hits or two hits or whatever, you can get that really quickly and build your quick platform when you're low on mats. Now, because I actually paid attention to where people drop, I know that there's somebody over here and I'm able to just kind of line up a shot and take them down really quick and easy. It looks like they dropped a lot of stuff. There might be somebody else over there. I'm not sure. I wasn't really following too closely oh i'm being shot at all right let's see here let's really quickly do this got them and got them I definitely need to pick up their ammo. Speaking of picking up ammo, you definitely want to pick up different weapon types because you want to be able to use them in tandem. What I recommend is to find two of the different shotguns, the striker pump shotgun right here, and also the auto shotty right here as well. And you want to chain those together. When you actually go into a fight with shotgun, usually start off with bump shotgun first. Oh, we might have an opportunity to show this off. Hello, this guy, <laughs> he's scared of me. Oh, hello. No! Bad example, bad example. All right, and we're dropping in. So when you're actually dropping in, recognize which locations are actually more populated than others. It looks like a lot of people are actually coming down here to Coney Crossroads or around it. So you definitely want to beat people to it. It's definitely a game of high risk, high reward. The higher drop locations will have a lot of risk, but you will also be able to capitalize on kills and get through early parts of the game really quick and easy. Yep, there's definitely some people around. There's a shield right there. I think I'm just going to let them shoot each other for now. Oh, looks like there's somebody right here. Got him. Saw somebody else nearby, and I definitely hear them. And don't be afraid to just get in front of people. Don't be afraid to get in front of people, find people, and just shoot at them. 
Oh, he just hid behind the thing. He sees me and he wants to, he does want to fight me. He's done. <laughs> that was easy. Where was somebody else over here? Did, did they die? Already? Oh yeah, they did, they did, they definitely did. Oh wow, there's just a chest right here. Maybe somebody was trying to get the chest and he, sh he shot at him. A big part of Fortnite is actually just recognizing your environment, knowing that there's going to be some type of health item behind uh, certain things. Like this isn't just a chest, but this is a, a cooler. You know what coolers have in them. So I had, that, uh, I had that juice and I was able to get that and recognize what I'm actually looking at. A lot of Fortnite and a lot of just any competitive game in general, it's just you being able to recognize the environment you're in and what you have to work with and that does take a, a little bit of playing to actually get to but uh trust me when i say it is probably the most valuable thing you can learn and you will learn this automatically but uh, making sure that you actually retain that and learn how to uh deal with these things as they come up and being able to leverage that as well is really important oh and now that we've wiped out pretty much all of coney crossroads we are going to try to find some other fights it looks like there's some activity over here i'm gonna really quickly just uh, make sure, maybe I could leverage that later. I'm not sure. Usually I would say, go ahead and just snipe that out, but maybe I could use that later to uh, get to somewhere more desirable. Yeah, they're definitely swinging around here. So I definitely see them over there. Hello. Okay. Got him. Got him. Easy. He got a little greedy. <laughs> he, he definitely got a little greedy. All right, I'm just going to really quickly met up. I don't think there's anybody else nearby. I think he took care of whoever was up on this hill. And I think I will take the Spidey Gloves. Thank you. I've actually not played around with these. They seem pretty fun. Here, let's try this. Whoa! Oh, uh, wow. You move around really fast. Oh, there we go. Probably go find some shields really quickly, though. All right, I am reloaded on everything, right? Yeah, yeah, I should be fine. Oh, see some small shields right here. And I'm definitely gonna need some more ammo. Maybe we can go to Sanctuary over here, see if there's anybody hanging out over here. If not, we can definitely find some shields over here. Sanctuary is a pretty good spot for uh, just finding certain items. Oh, we're going to have to go fight the current, maybe. Usually there's something under a bridge or something. Nope, not at all. Just a campfire. Another thing where knowing your surroundings is really important because you can light these and get pretty decent health. He sees me down there. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey, bud. Oh. He's trying to set me on fire. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm lagging. And I barely had any health to spare, so that was really intense. That was difficult. Four kills, and I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I need some shields really badly, but um, I'm, I'm doing all right. Oh, I see you're shooting something down there. So you're kind of preoccupied. Oh, come on. Let me get one, one more. Uh, I tried. I tried. Yeah, whoever it is. They will steal that kill. I don't want to engage him right now. What I definitely do want to do, though, is find some health. Yeah, definitely trying to pick my battles. Enemy is still over in this direction. Oh, they're definitely over here now. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff that's been just laying upon the ground. Oh, I'm hiking. I definitely don't want to stay upon this hill for too long. Nobody's caught out in the storm right now, which is... Good and scary. I'm gonna try to loot these chests. Maybe I can find just like one more quick little shield or something. Um, just something where I can sustain 
just a little bit better. And then I think I'm going to follow those shots over there and try to get a vulture kill uh, at the bare minimum. Yeah, there's definitely something happening over here. Let's try this out. All right, I'm staying on top here. Oh, yep, definitely, definitely getting shot at. I'm gonna try to co-op whatever's happening here though. Oh, got that kill. There's another guy. Let's chase this guy down. Yeah, definitely a guy in there. Ah, oh, damn it. I placed third. That's actually really good. And I've only been playing for a week. That's actually pretty good. Ah, uh, he just got me though. That's fine. That's fine. I just couldn't. I wanted, I wanted to... Give him a little bit of an edge so he pushed me, but not so much that I couldn't win. But he just he just absolutely domed me. I, I didn't really have the health, so I just had to go for it. Um, it was either that or just hide for the rest of the round, and I didn't really want to do that either. You do kind of want to do things in interest of time, because if you are collecting stuff for the battle pass, or you're trying to level up your battle pass, you definitely want to just be able to concede. You want to be able to just like, alright, I'm going for this. And then if you die, hey, you can ready up and play the next game really quickly. And if not, um, you know, you're, you're just going to waste a lot of time just kind of waiting around. And getting the win is really not that much more XP. So it's almost, I, I don't want to say it's not worth it, but it's almost not worth it. Especially if you're at a, a real de deficit where you don't have like a gold weapon or you're really just not equipped to handle uh, a very high stakes, high intensity, very close circle match especially for me because i can't really build really well i basically spam build um and it gets the job done i make a very uh comfortable build setup where i have q and e here um i don't really use x except for when i need it and c i never use and i don't know how to edit so those last few moments of, of fortnite games are really difficult for me but hey those are just the things i noticed and those are some tips and tricks as i've played i hope you guys really enjoyed the video please leave a like down below i'm trying to learn this game and i'm really enjoying it uh, i hope to create more content soon and see you guys later peace out